everybody, I'm Janet with Janet's Planet, and I am adhering to the call of several ALS ice bucket challenges. But I'm afraid my challenge is going to look a little bit uh, differently than you may have expected. You see, I hate to be cold. I love it when it's 100 degrees, and I really am a conservationist. I hate to waste natural resources. So I thought, what could I do? And I thought, aha, a science experiment. So I'm gonna dig in here, and I'm gonna take several of these big ice cubes, and I'm gonna place them in this glass of water. Next, I'm gonna take this piece of string and lay it right over these ice cubes. Now, I'm gonna sprinkle a little bit of salt right there, and uh, let's see if I will be able to levitate a piece of ice out of that glass simply with a string. If I ask you to do it, you might say, hey, you know what, I could do that. Just tie the piece of string around the ice cube and lift it up. But you see, when I placed the ice in the glass of water, two processes started to occur. The ice started melting into the water and the water started to freeze. Now, because these two processes are happening at the same time, we can say that the ice and the water are in dynamic equilibrium. The rate of freezing and the rate of melting is the same. And as the ice melts, the ice molecules begin to escape into the water. And when the water freezes, its molecules are captured on the ice surface. And with this happening at the same time, well, there's really no changes created in either the ice or the water. But when I put the string on there and I sprinkled the salt under the ice cube, the state of equilibrium was, ha ha, disrupted. The salt molecules dissolved and joined the water molecules, thus changing the water's rate of freezing. The rate of melting is now much faster than the freezing, causing the ice to melt. However, to be able to restore equilibrium, the water's freezing point drops, causing the ice to freeze out of the salt water. The salt, the salt starts to crystallize and ice free freezes around the string. This causes the ice cube to stick to the ends of the grid, enabling me, hopefully, to be able to pull this ice right out of the water. Would you look at there? Great science. That lasted for just a moment in this heat. However, I am convinced and I am certainly hopeful that the great science that is going towards ALS will find a cure. All right, happy ALS Ice Bucket Challenge, everyone, and happy experimenting.